When I did my last video about wet scanning, I showed the process. I put the film on the scanner, scanned it, and that was it. But one of the things that I didn't do and that I got called out on is compare the dry scan with the wet scan with the wet scan on a wet scan holder. Well, you called me out on it, and in this video, I'm gonna make up for it by doing a dry scan, a wet plate scan with a wet plate holder, and also just on the scan bed. So uh, let's get kicking. First up, we're gonna dry mount. Now that we did the dry mount, we're gonna do a wet mount on a wet mount holder. So basically, we're gonna mount it on this glass, and then I'm gonna put it in this tray, and if you look closely, you could see all of these little screws here, and I'm gonna turn it a quarter each, every single one, that will slowly elevate it off of the platform. Now, the point of doing that is the focal plane of the scanner is going to be a little bit above the actual bed. So by mounting it and raising it up, basically the same level that the dry sheet would, was on, we should see an increase in sharpness in our final scan. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this, and then we'll put it in. Now, finally, we're gonna mount this just like I did in the last video on the wet plate scan. So just on the scanner bed with no elevation to it. Okay, so now we have all of the scans done. We're gonna take a look at them and see if we can tell the difference between the zero millimeter all the way up to I scanned at two millimeter, and we'll take a look. Now, one thing to keep in mind with these is I very gently color corrected them, so don't pay too much attention to that. But let's go ahead and start at our um, zero millimeter. So this is without a holder. This is just right onto the scan bed. And you can see when we get close that um, there is definitely a lack in quality in terms of uh, the edges being blurred. It's definitely a soft image. Um, although one thing that is working in its favor is there's very little um, dust in the image. So that is good. So now we'll move on to the next size, which is I believe a 1.4. So just right off the bat on my screen, you can see that there is a noticeable difference in terms of the sharpness of the image. So here is the zero, or zero, a 1.4. If we get close, you can see um, there really is a massive difference right there. Now we're gonna go up to 1.8. It looks like it's a little bit sharper from the 1.4. You can see right here, it's very soft, but here you can get some of that grain, some of the crispness is coming out of the pattern in here. So again, 1.4, this is um, 1.8. And then we have one millimeter, we're just gonna skip because it doesn't look as good as the 1.4. By the way, this is the dry scan. So this is just scanning with the holder that's included. But you can just see, I mean, look at all this dust. You see the dust here, here, here. You can see that there's just speckles of, of dust all over this negative. So that's the dry. You get an image that looks decently sharp, but it's covered with a lot of dust. And then this is the best one of all. This is the two millimeter. So the two millimeter, you can see just how sharp I'm able to get. We'll get real close there. So definitely more sharp at two millimeter than anything. And you know, there's a, there are a few dust specks here, as you can see, but it's not as bad as the uh, dry. So basically, you do get a better um, resolution image, or I should say the sharpness is better when you do a uh, two millimeter scan over the dry version. Uh, and of course, there are things that you're not really able to see with your eyes um, for one, the, it's perfectly, perfectly flat because we've sandwiched it between a glass and the acetate. So the wet mount two millimeter scan is going to be a perfectly flat surface, meaning in different areas of the image should have the same focus, the same sharpness. But in the dry version, if you really get close and you really look, it might be hard with your eyes. You're going to see that there's areas that have a little bit more sharpness and a little bit less sharpness because of course, it's not perfectly flat. There will be some variation um, in the image. So anyway, with all this said, I'm gonna put all of these online in a description, um, in the description below, so you can click them and see for yourself the differences, all the way from zero up to two millimeter and then the dry control one. And you'll see just how much of a difference it does to um, mount your film and then scan it. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to hit subscribe if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next video.